Hello, my name's Simon Bradwell from EBM Pabst here in Melbourne and today I'm going to talk to you about centrifugal fans and in particular small centrifugal fans. Centrifugal fans uh, have two fundamental types. Firstly, forward curved and secondly, a backward curved. And here I've got three different types of centrifugal fan in front of me to show you the principles of small centrifugal fans. First of all, this is a forward curved EC um, centrifugal fan, which is typically used in cooker hoods or fan coils or, or alike. Here we have a, um, a backward curved radical centrifugal fan, uh, and this type of product is typically used in ventilation, again fan coils, uh, or even small air conditioning units and heat recovery units. Uh, and thirdly, here I've got a box fan, just to show you the, the variation in size. Uh, and this box fan is typically used in electronics uh, and telecommunications types applications where cooling and spot cooling of electronics is required. Now then, centrifugal fans. Fundamentally they differ from axial fans because they turn the air through 90 degrees. So what I'm going to do now is just start this little forward curved centrifugal fan here to my left. There she goes. Uh, this is an EC fan, so I can speed control it with a 0 to 10 volt pot. Now and I've got a, just a small piece of paper here to show. Here you can see the air coming in the side of the product and then the air exiting the forward, of, for the forward part of the product. Now this means that the centrifugal fan is turning air through 90 degrees. Now, and that's the fundamental characteristic of a centrifugal fan. Here with the backward curved radical product, the air comes into the eye of the product and then gets thrown out by the backward curve side of the blade at 90 degrees to the air inlet. Fundamentally, the two types of product have completely different type of airflow characteristics. When low pressures are used with forward curve fans, the power increases. We have to be very careful and often manufacturers will state on their performance curves areas of do not use because forward curve fans are overloading in characteristic. This means at low static air pressures for instance, the power input to the motor exceeds what's available to the motor and often the motor will fail. Backward curve fans on the other hand are much more forgiving. Typically power stays the same in the best performance range or increases slightly and therefore they are non-overloading in characteristic. This means that they're much more applicable to a wide range of applications, especially because we're getting more air than we are with respect to the forward curve fans. So in summary, today I'll talk to you about small centrifugal fans. Centrifugal fans turn air through 90 degrees when the air passes through the product. There are two fundamental types, forward curved and backward curved, and backward curved fans have a static efficiency which is superior to forward curved fans. There are a range of sizes available, um, such as this compact forward curve fan of 120 millimeters in size, all the way up to centrifugal fans over a meter in size, which are typically used in air handling units. Now, if you need more information, please contact us via the website ebmpaps.com.au or ebmpaps.co.nz. Thank you for watching.